Hello! Today we'll talk about using timers on our GHK12X2 model of our greenhouse controller. Unlike the main function of the controller to control temperature, this timer function is separate and can be used to turn on lights at a certain time or to run mist type irrigation, the latter being covered in a separate video. The two functions do different things, but they both use the same output and cannot be used at the same time. Here is how to set up a timer. First, locate the button labeled Timer on the controller. We'll have to press it repeatedly to cycle between three options, either Timer, Mist, or Off. Off means the output or timer will not be used, Timer means we'll use the timer cycle, and Mister is a more custom misting mode covered in a separate video. For Timer, we'll first have to set a start time for whatever appliance, whether it's lights or shades or something else, to become active, a hold length for how long they will be active for, and if we want it to repeat daily. So first press the timer button until it displays timer on the screen. There it is, and press enter to confirm. It should now display timer as well as a current start time. This is the start time for when the appliance will become active. Enter your desired time in military time, for example, 15 hours for 3 p.m and press enter to confirm. Now it asks us for a hold time. Simply enter how long you want the appliance to be active for. So for example, if you want the timer to be active from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., you enter two for two hours. This is also an hour's minutes and press enter to confirm. Now finally, it asks us if we would like to repeat the process daily without any, any extra input from the user. If you'd like it to repeat, you can simply enter yes or no or no if you would not like it to repeat by pressing the one button or any other number key to toggle between on and off. So in this case, we'll go ahead and put on so that we do want it to repeat each day and we'll press enter to confirm. And that's all for the setup. Uh, remember that you can always adjust this, uh, use the same process to adjust the timer at any point just by going back to timer and then you can just press enter to bypass any other option you don't want. Say we wanted an extra hour hold, so we can edit that to three, keep repeat for yes, and it's as easy as that. Keep in mind that during this process, if you don't make it all the way through and uh, press enter at the end, as I just did, none of your changes will be saved. You can't just go to timer and then say change the first one and then be done with it. Uh, if you leave it here for 15 seconds, the controller will time out and you'll lose that change on the first one. Instead, you'll have to um, add press enter all the way through, but we can demonstrate that timeout in a second. So it timed out, if I go back to timer, you'll see it's still at the 15. So you got it. go all the way through, and then it should stay at the, the new one. And that's it. For a quick refresher or to look at any other processes, remember we have the full manual available online and it's also linked in the description. You can find this particular process on page 11 and 12. Remember that if you had any trouble throughout this process, we are always available by phone and email for support. Remember to like our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter or Instagram for the latest updates and information. We also have an e-newsletter for other information and tips, and you can see many other tutorials on our YouTube channel for other issues you might have. Thanks!